Good morning, my Scorpios. Happy Water Sign Day. We are doing your reading. I am using Tarot of the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have uh, blah, 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 blah. Wheel of Fortune for the Clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. All right, so we have the Star and the Eight of Swords reverse. That's some really good energy. That feels like something new is coming in or something better is about to begin. Ooh. That's some mad rhymes. That could be a good title, actually, for you, Scorpio. That, but it feels like if you're in something, it's just maybe you've got clarification. You're starting to, maybe you're going from like a connectionship to a situationship or situationship to a relationship. And if it's a relationship, maybe it's going to the next level. I just feel communication, honestly. Something that's going to relieve your mind. Eight of Swords Reverse is no, not worried about something because... I just feel like there's a lot of healing. Well, oh, holy moly, you got 10 of cups, wheel of fortune. After, it's like after a king of wands and a six of pentacles reverse, this can be a bit breadcrumbing. No matter what you did, knight of cups, somebody could have been in and out. And I just feel like you got the 10 of cups, the wheel of fortune and the star. Those, I mean, that's the best love cards if, if that's what you're here for. It's it's pretty amazing here, Scorpio. What's below the Eight of Swords reverse? The Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. After Six of Pentacles reverse. So a Two of Pentacles is trying something out. It might be like after King of Pentacles reverse, Six of Pentacles reverse, somebody really may not have been paying you attention. Maybe they are with the Two of Pentacles. Maybe they're open to a relationship. Maybe they're trying now. Whatever they're doing, it's giving you a bit of relief. It's like, ah, uh, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. Sun, moon, rising. Look at that. Yeah. When I split the deck, Knight of Wands, and you got the star. I feel like something's finally moving forward here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio, know a Scorpio, feel like being a Scorpio, a Scorpios, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Scorpio and this resonates. You can be dealing with a Scorpio. It could resonate as the main story. We are in Pisces season, and look at that Knight of Cups. Two of Wands reverse. I feel, I honestly feel like something's moving into some type of relationship. And if you're a single as a Pringle Scorpio, then you have something coming in. I mean, there's a lot of love going on here. You guys have had some tough readings. So you guys really deserve this. Five of Swords and the Chariot. Be careful that Five of Swords. Someone you may trust, but betrayal. Five of Swords is is somebody that will drain you energetically if you allow them to temperance six of wands all right so let's see general energy for the scorpios what are the messages that need to come out what are the messages that need to come out look at that the world and the four of wands maybe you're going to travel to go see someone here you got the three of swords reverse libra card it's healing something your heart's healing a relationship's healing what's influencing the three of swords reverse it's a great card to be reversed. What's influencing the Three of Swords reverse? The Nine of Pentacles reverse. I, I feel like, Scorpio, you're the Three of Swords reverse here. I feel like something's making you feel included and needed. And, and, and if somebody kept, kept you pushed out, I think they're pulling you in. Why? Because they need help. Nine of Pentacles. Oh my God, that scared me. A Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody feeling completely tired or drained. Maybe they're tired of pushing you away. Honestly, I don't. I don't get that to you though. And if uh, let's see, let's let's get more cards out here. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading, Scorpio? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading, Scorpio? There we go. King of Swords and a Seven of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. We got two. You got the Empress reverse and the King of Pentacles, both Taurian, Taurus and Libra. I get, I get somebody's lonely. And this could be you, Scorpio, too. But I get somebody's lonely. You know, money can only keep you so warm, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, you could buy you could buy comfort, sure. But I feel like because these are both Taurus and then it's a Taurus and a Libra right above it, I just feel like somebody's gonna reach out 
because being pushing people out is a very lonely business that's the king of swords and the seven of cups aquarius and scorpio here i just feel like somebody's ready to let you in i do death reverse and an eight of pentacles reverse and you never gave up on this seven of pentacles reverse ace of wands reverse emperor reverse i just feel like somebody's ready to let you in with this King of Pentacles, Empress Reverse. Empress Reverse can be somebody who, with that Nine of Pentacles. It's so interesting, actually, because the Nine of Pentacles is the minor of the Empress. They're both Reverse. The influencing energy and the reason for the reading is the same energy. And somebody is just, I feel tired and drained, and it's too much work to push you away than just let you in. I really feel like somebody misses you, too. And reason for the reading, because of this energy, I feel like somebody's ready to invest. This King of Pentacle energy. All right, what's in the past? All right, that's you, Scorpio, letting it go. Tower reverse. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? I feel like this is also even though it's not on your mind, I feel like in the past you were thinking of letting it go too, or maybe some of you let this person go. What is on your mind? What is on the Scorpio's mind? Look at that high priestess sun reverse, the wheel of fortune reverse. Worried that nothing's moving forward here. That could be current. Reason for the reading, I feel like somebody's gonna surprise you. Especially if you've been at a certain connection for a while. It's just like, I also get you not wanting to let go with that Wheel of Fortune reverse and a Tower reverse. Not wanting to let go. It's interesting. I know a lot of people, even the Sun reverse. Um, I'm going to move that. It's not there. But I know there's a lot of people that, that don't like reversals. But I, I, for one, am comfortable. I mean, it's, it's life, honestly. And so you have so many reversals. But, you know, it just makes you have to look at the card that's upright. And the card that's upright is somebody's ready. King of Pentacles. I feel like this is the inner workings, the gears, honestly, of somebody's mind. See the gears? And you never gave up on a situation or on a person. Maybe this person's so used to pushing people away. And I feel like you've really proved to them that you're the one to stay, you know? And so I just get this is a lot of somebody you've been dealing with. And on your mind, I feel like there's a Scorpio that's not going to let go, not ready to let go. Seven of Wands and a Six of Swords. And I feel like you're about to have a big payoff here. Seven of Wands in Leo Energy and Aquarius is fighting for something, right? Seven of Wands is a, is a tension, but it's also fighting for something. And then somebody with all this like worry, I feel like somebody's going to say, you know what? A Six of Swords is energetically ready to move something forward. Hermit, yeah, strength three. I feel like somebody, it's just, I, I, either they just really miss you, they made a mistake, or they're ready to do this. All right, what's in the near future for the Scorpios? You got Justice and the Five of Swords reverse, Libra and Aquarius. This is somebody who doesn't let people in, I can tell you that. What's in the near future for Scorpio? What's in the near future for the Scorpio? And the seven of cups reverse. It's your card. And the death the death card was in the eight of pentacles. It's in the seven of cups reverse is a great card to be reversed as well. Both these cards, even the tower reverse is a good card to be reversed because it's a letting go. See, the thing is, is if you're whole, the only one holding on, it's just like, it's going to cause you, it's tiring and it causes you a lot of pain. So some of you Scorpios let something go. And you know, it's kind of like that old adage, you let it go. And if it comes back to you, it's yours. And if it never comes back, it was never yours to begin with. And I feel like you let something go. You just let something be. And it made you worry because you do want this. But something is coming back to you. Seven of Cups reversed in the near future is an Ace of Cups to me. It's a clarity. I feel like there was a situation, there was this something going on and it wasn't defined and it wasn't clear and it caused a, somebody, maybe even you to be completely drained, which is probably right next to it, while you're just like, I can't. 
This is, I'm, I'm, I'm on a hamster wheel right here. And so, but it, the truth of it is, it's just something that really you wanted to work, but it just costs you too much, too much um, effort and energy and getting very little back. But that wheel of fortune reverse on your mind is really telling because that is saying you really, you don't want to move on from this. You just want this person to man woman up, you know, reason for the reading they do king of pentacles. It's interesting that all these cards, the one that's upright is a king of pentacles. But like I said, this, this, and this are really great cards actually to be reversed. Even the wheel of fortune reverse in a way can be positive in this context because this is something that you just probably felt it was, it was a line for you, even if the person wasn't ready. And I feel like they're ready. Seven of cups reverses clarity. No longer, it's like, I feel like somebody's ready to focus on you. Or Scorpio, this could be you on somebody. This could be you are ready to, to say, you know what? I want to settle down with this person. I, I, the, you know, I just really feel like there's, there's some good times ahead for you. All right, what's this Three of Swords reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse? And I've get, I honestly get this is the energy you're dealing with at the center, Libra and Virgo. I get somebody just is tired i feel like you were a source of comfort for somebody and they they're tired of pushing you away honestly i even feel like the reason for the reading the empress reverse isn't even you that i mean it's just it's all the same energy there's the seven of cups and the five of cups. Oh, it's both your energies when I split the deck. Five of cups reverse and a seven of cups, which is a two of cups. So plus seven is a nine. I love it. Okay. So, all right. Nine of cups. All right, Scorpio. Three of swords reverse influenced by the nine of pentacles reverse. Three of swords reverse influenced by the nine of pentacles reverse. And if you're a single Scorpio, let's just talk about this for a second. If you're a single Scorpio, there's a lot of energy being spent on one area of your life, but and maybe not enough in love. Maybe you work a lot. Um, I just feel tired. I feel kind of worn down. Nine of Pentacles reverses a drain. It, it, maybe your finances are becoming drained um, and maybe that's why you're working so much. But I really get one area of your life, you might be avo avoiding relationships and putting all this energy into yourself, which is great. But I do feel a yearning for love. And I again, you, you have that coming in. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck hangman reverse and the strength either way it's a love read if you're single or connected with somebody i do feel that all right three of swords reverse influenced by the nine of pentacles reverse libra and virgo three of swords reverse influenced by the nine of pentacles reverse i just feel like somebody yeah you got an ace of pentacles in the world you got a yes and a forward movement now you got somebody re ready to include you Ace of Wands, re oh my gosh, you got two aces reversed right there. When I, w that's what fell out. I've never seen that. Ace of Swords reverse and an Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like somebody was so resistant, a very resistant energy to love. And this could be you or this could be a, someone you're dealing with. But why do we have a wheel of fortune reverse on your mind then? Because you knew it, it, they're going to come around or you knew it was, it was just a matter of time. Ace, aces can be a delay as well. Aces can be a delay. Some of you Scorpios dealt with this energy and dropped it back here. And they don't like that feeling. They don't. They don't like it. That's why we have an Ace of Pentacles upright going on here. All right. Why the King of Pentacles and the Empress reverse? Reason for the reading. Why the King of Pentacles and the Empress reverse? Both Taurus and then Libra. King of Pentacles and the Empress reverse. King of Pentacles. I mean, their money's not keeping them warm at night. I could tell you that. King of Pentacles and the Empress reverse. They, that Look at that. 
See, this is why, I mean, reversals only highlight what's upright. What's upright is this king is ready for love. And you knew they would. You knew they would be at some point. That's why you're an ace of swords reverse. I, uh, that, ooh. Three of cups reverse. Watch those three of cups reverse. That's betrayal. It's not of this, but it's usually a friendship card. Cancerian energy. Yeah, I, I just feel like just listen to your intuition at this time. Ace of Cups, you got a big yes in love. I think I really feel like, remember I said I felt like this near future is an Ace of Cups. And you literally, reason for the reading, you got an Ace of Cups. If you were single Scorpio, like I said, you got love coming in to balance your life out because I feel like you guys are just so focused on your money and material and working. And if you've been in a connection, I feel like it's going to be either elevated to a uh, situationship uh, or is it going to be evaluated to relationship? This feels like a relationship to me. And if it's in a relationship, it's going to be elevated again. The tower reversed in the past. Eight of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Wands reversed. Right? Let's just take these two. We got Gemini and Virgo. I feel like you tried so hard to get something. It could be this energy. It could be someone else. And all you did was get lied to and manipulated. And I really feel like you made that decision, two of wands reverse, to leave this energy behind, this connection. The Yeah, the lovers is, is Gemini. And, you know, having this Gemini energy right next to a Virgo energy gives me a magician energy. And I feel like you never gave up hope, no matter how much people took advantage of your loyalty and love and your scorpionic tendencies. They, you never gave up hope in love itself. And you probably meant something even better than this. But even that is resistant. And you're just like, you know, I'm not playing. I don't want to play this game. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's see the Wheel of Fortune reverse on your mind. Or that, okay, what's the Wheel of Fortune reverse on Scorpio's mind? That Queen of Wands reverse. Wanted to come out twice, Aries, but then here's Aries, four of wands, and a five of swords. Five of swords, and the knight of pentacles reverse. Honestly, I feel like somebody, if somebody told you they don't want a relationship or they don't know, I feel like they, it's like you were dealing with somebody who was not, it's like, I feel like they were lying to you because at the, at the truth of it, they do. I think they were just afraid to be abandoned themselves. Five of swords and a four of wands. I think they're lying to themselves, honestly. A queen of wands reverse is the same as the four of wands. And a queen of wands reverse can be in. I feel like this person caused you to be insecure within yourself or within your connection within your situation because they're insecure with love it's not a comfortable feeling for them to trust somebody that much maybe they got trashed in the past when they trusted somebody in a five of swords but i feel like somebody keeps their heart under lock and key and you somehow found the key lock and key under lock right and you somehow got the key to it what is this? Why the Queen of Wands reverse on Scorpio's mind with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? And also, some of you are worried that maybe you got played. Queen of Wands reverse can be somebody that can be disloyal. But I feel like it's more about insecurity. Page of Wands. I just feel like you never gave up hope. Why the Page of Wands? Or they never gave up hope. But I feel it's in your mind. Eight of Wands, which equals a Nine of Wands, and somebody held on. Either way, it's moving forward. If this is you or about you. Somebody was not lying to themselves how much they actually want this. Seven of Cups reverse in the near future. What's the Seven of Cups reverse? Scorpio energy in the near future. Clarity. I feel like you're going to get clarity here. Seven of Cups reverse. I think you're going to realize that you've always had this person's heart. They just, I don't think they were saying it. Seven of Cups reverse in the near future for Scorpio. What is that about? And the tower. Now we're upright. 
back here i love how some these traditional tarot spreads are so balanced back here is a tower reverse right here and you let something go because you're you've learned that you don't want to be the only one holding on and wasting your time right so you let something go but something now suddenly is coming back or it may not be this energy for some of you this isn't this energy some of you it is okay some of you, you learned a lesson by holding on to something that was not really good for you. And that caused you to not want to repeat the same mistakes. But I still get a feeling of, even though if you're emotionally holding on to this, you weren't given to it like you would have in past energies. But something's coming in in a tower moment. Tower means a sudden change, okay? At the very definition of a tower is change. Something's coming into your life to fundamentally change it. What is it? It's seven of cups reverse. It's clarity. It's no more games. It's no more fantasies. It's the real cup by this king who's not in a good place. That's how I'm seeing this. World reverse, knight of swords reverse, and the magician. There's that magician. I felt that magician with those two energies. Somebody's really confident when it comes to work or money and things like that, but they're not confident in love. And the worst, they're worried of being betrayed or left. And I feel like this person's finally realizing it takes them a lot more energy to push you away than just bring you in. And I feel like, yeah, something's going to come about where they're going to realize how much they truly need you. That's what I got for you, Scorpio. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. And whoever is reading this is, this is, it's really positive. It really is. That's why reversals, I don't be afraid of reversals. Um, it really, reversals are a deeper level to tarot. If you only read uprights, you wouldn't have this reading at all. We would have, we would have a reading of somebody who's still in pain and somebody who's causing pain, you know, and somebody who's still playing games and somebody who likes it that way. So it's kind of like, you know, that's just, that's my theory on reversals because I know I do see it in the comments. I do see that people aren't comfortable, but you know, you don't want a three of swords upright. You really don't. You'd rather have that reverse and a seven of cups. You'd rather have that reverse. And in this case with these reversals, it is really pointing that there is somebody who's ready to let a Scorpio in because you've never betrayed this person, even if they were betrayed by other people. All right, my dears, have a fantastic rest of your week and... I love you guys. See you later. Take care.